Well, it's Saturday morning, beautiful. Not too hot. Headed to the ninth gate. Then we're going for a spin afterwards. Look at that. Full tank. Right to the top. Mumble man. Gave me a tank of gas yesterday. He had some fuel points at their local grocery store that were getting ready to expire, so we used them up. Dollar forty-nine a gallon. That's hard to fade that with dollar forty-nine. It's two forty-five today, I think, or yesterday when we were regular price. In that bucket right there, I have two nice shuns. I do a lot of work for the local shun dealer. And one of them is a knife that a fella bought two days ago, brought it back because it was dull. And it is dull. I don't know if it came dull or they used it in the store and didn't know if they sold it in a used knife or what, but I got to sharpen it up. The one, there's another one in you can't really see. It's got a major chip in it. It's a store knife, the one they use in the store for demonstrations. I'll show it to you when I get there. I got to fix it today. And in the back, you can't see it, in the back of the truck, I got a box that came in the mail yesterday. Uh, my buddy Roy uh, uh, in Florida, if you remember, I sold him my, uh, well I know you all will remember because it was probably before I was doing videos, but I sold him uh, the first uh, 70 Mine Lab E-Track, not E-Track, what do you call that thing, Xterra I had. I bought an e e e Xterra 70 when he first came out. Well, I kept it four or five months and sold it to him. And if you remember correctly, he sent me a couple of old knives uh, several many months ago. Uh, nice, really old, nice Puma skinning knife, small skinning knife. And a really nice homemade uh, knife made in 1948 by somebody in Roanoke, if you remember those two knives. Well, he sent me another box of knives today, or yesterday. All 60 here in knives, he said. I haven't opened it yet. We'll open it when we get up here to the gig, when we have time. So we'll be kind of busy today. Stand by. Okay, we're setting up. I'm set up. Everything's ready. Let's take a look at these knives here right quick. This is the one that uh, the customer brought back after three days. Said it was dull. And like I told you, No, this is not the one. This is the one that's got the chips in it. I'm mistaken. This is a store knife. And let's see if I can get Let's see if we can do this a little better here with this black thing up here. Still ain't much difference, but anyway, you can see that it's got three or four big chips right there. I gotta get those out of there. The one is in this box right here. The brand new 719. Three days old. And it is dull. There ain't no question about it. But we can change all that part. Sharpened and chip gone. Okay. This is a box from my buddy Roy. He says it's knives from the 60s. Mm. 
Let's see what's in this box from the 60s. Oh, I like it already. Look at that baby. Look at that carving on that seat. It says herders. I used to buy a lot of fishing stuff from herders back in the 70s. That's the first time I've seen the herder name in a long time. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I'll have to get it out. It's probably on the blade. She's a nice ticket though. Let's see what else we got here. We got a nice old timer pocket knife. Full three bladed. We got a buck. One of them old big brass bucks. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now that baby gets sharp right there. And that brass will polish up just like brand spanking new. Roy, I'm beginning to like this box already. Get back in there. Let's see what else we got in here. Now this is interesting right here now, I tell you. I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's my kind of knife. Big, single-bladed pocket knife. Stand by. Ah, it's a nice case. Needs a little sharpening, a little cleaning. That's a nice knife right there. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Roy. See what other treasures we have in this box right here. Uh oh, there's another one in there. Come out of there, baby. This is a two-bladed case. Another nice old case. Look at that. These are some nice tickets right here. Old box of tickets. Okay. We'll get to work on them at home. I'm going to put them back in the box. Roy, thank you very much. We might as well take a look at these two we didn't look at just in case. I can't make out anything on this one yet. You see it's a carbon steel knife. He's cleaning up. I'll give you the before and after. That aluminum will shine up. That brass will shine up. They a nice knife. And a herder knife. Wasika, Minnesota. Carbon steel. He's sharpening, cleaning up. We got some stuff to do. Okay, back in the box. First customer's got a nice long six inch Wustoff, a seven inch older shun, and a, a, a Henkel bird's beak. And we sail over here, empty box. But in that box was eight knives, all Henkels. And then they're in bad shape. They need really a lot of work. Stand by. Cut Copera with a bunch of chips in it. Look at the chips in that baby. Look at this ticket right here. I can't tell what kind it is. But it came with the cut coat. She's uh seen her she's been doing some cutting her age in her her little lifetime. Stand by. I got two Gerbers, a Winchester and a Sog, pocket knives. And then a lady brought me a big Wustoff, a little Wustoff, and an old Buck. Buckner. Buck, B U C K, Bucker. Boker. Yeah, Boker. 1869 to 1994. Nice old knife. I'll clean her up too. And then I got three more of these uh, fine taquitos. Ginsu, something or other, stay sharp, and uh, I think. One nice ankle. Okay, we got plenty of action. Nice yeah, Mac. I cut myself more with uh, non sharp knives. Than sharp knives. That's right. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, I'm talking to myself. Oh, yeah. I love that. I got four more Cuisinart, International Heckle, International Heckle, and one of them easy grip jobs. Good grip. Rolling right along. 
Echo International, so squeeze a knock and a good grip. Do what? Well, I think this is probably going to be the end of them. It's like 11 o'clock. Well, these the guy don't want till tomorrow or the next day. This is a uh, never seen one of these before. Chipway. Those we got an old Norse fillet knife. We got a fin or I call it. We got a Gerber. Plenty of knives today. What I didn't show you was I got this old case. Look at that baby. I don't think I ever seen one quite like this. I'll have to check and see how old it is. This guy didn't want it till next week. And I got these big. I don't know if these are loafers or pruners or they look like they're from Af Afghanistan or someplace. They, they're old. Got a latch on the back. Next Sunday. I mean next Saturday. So I got homework.